This is Entrepreneur Studio brought to you by SC Biz News. I'm Patrick Bryant, CEO of software development firm Code and Trust and chairman of the Harbor Entrepreneur Center. Our sponsor is Matt Parda and Chris Corley of Harbor Wealth Management Group who are no strangers to helping entrepreneurs in our community. Terry Mori is the head biscuit. Head uh, biscuit. Uh, Callie's Hot Little Biscuit, which okay. has four stores and sells biscuits in retail shops everywhere, right? Like no, throughout the U.S. Not everywhere, but a couple thousand stores. A couple which thousand. Which is small in in grocery world, just so you know. Oh, it still feels pretty <laughs> but important. But I'm proud to me. of it. Yeah, it's pretty fantastic. So, w w Callie's Hot Little Biscuit. Yeah. Wh wh where does Callie? I'm sure everyone thinks you're Callie. Everybody calls me Callie, and yeah. I just answer to it, and that's sure. fine. Callie's my mom, and. Callie it was the original creator of Callie's Country Ham Biscuits in her catering business, and I was always the server huh? receiving the accolades, so I understood what that there was something really special about these biscuits. Uh, you know, she did not think that there was anything special, but... Um, well, I, there's something special about your parents in general. I mean, you, you have yeah. incredible parents that have given you ridiculous support, so... Uh, Tell, tell me about your, your dad, too. You know, the irony in my dad is that I, when I moved back to Charleston, I went back, I went to work for him, and he really wanted me to take over his investment advisory business, and I really wanted to as well, but it just wasn't my passion, mm -hmm. and so I tried really hard to make it work, and so I think it was really hard for him when I left and went and started a business with my mom, <laughs> um, and, you know, he always said, you got to sell a lot of dough to make any dough in the biscuit business, <laughs> Carrie, and I said, well, you know, you got to do what you love, right? It's not really always about money, but he truly is um, my greatest mentor. He's the person that I talk to almost every day about all the problems and, and the successes, too, of the business. And, you know, he's the kind of person that if you have a problem, he's going to help you solve it. He's not going to do the work for you, but he will help you try to figure it out. I have a special needs brother, mm. and he wasn't going to go to college. And he came to my dad his senior year of high school and said, where am I going to college? And my dad didn't have an answer. And so my dad created a college for him. Wow. That's, that's <laughs> so know. cool. So he went to the state house, lobbied for money for special needs uh, young adults to be able to have a college experience to help them be independent and learn how to live um, independently and work. And um, and this is now the REACH program, it's right? The it's the REACH program. A, yeah, it's it a, started in, at the University of South Carolina. My brother was in the first graduating class of, I think, four. And now it's in colleges all over. Yeah. And that just came out of a need of my brother wanting to go to college. And my dad said, I got to solve that problem, which is oh, an entrepreneur, right? <laughs> right, absolutely. Well, an entrepreneur that cares and that, uh, in this case, was willing to create an entire program, not just help his son, but, right. but help a lot of people. Because he saw that there was a need people. for so many other kids that needed to have this opportunity. Yeah. And this would make them stronger and more independent and you know, it's a good thing. It's an absolutely amazing thing. So thanks for sharing that Thank with us. You.